Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. It's a pitch meeting here, but we've got to do some housekeeping here. We forgot one in a certain particular order. Which one is this, Dan? So this is the Star Wars Holiday Special. Yes, which came in perfect time, honestly. For May the 4th? May the 4th, yeah. Thank you, Dandy Chickens, for pointing that out. This one's because you said so. May the 4th be with you, fam. Enjoy. So, you have a new project for me? <laughs> yes, sir, I <laughs> do. do. So, you know how Star Wars is a thing? I sure do. That thing was super popular. So, you want to talk about potentially making the best sequel of all time? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe eventually. But for now, I think we need to capitalize with the TV special. Oh, keep the Star Wars brand at the top of people's minds. I like the way you think. Makes sense. Yeah, so Han is trying to get Chewie back to his family to celebrate Life Day. What's Life Day? A thing. Oh, things are tight. <laughs> so, then we're going to see <laughs> Chewie's family, and that's where we're going to oh, spend you know, most of the movie. Oh, really? Yeah, we're gonna meet his dad, Itchy, his <laughs> wife, Mala, what? and even his son, Lumpy. Oh, yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, so like. Oh, Lumpy's amazing. He looks just like a little Chewbacca, but if you wanted to <laughs> eat your bone marrow. Oh, my God. So, yeah, Mala's gonna be like, Grr, and Itchy's gonna be like, Grr. what? And then Lumpy, let me tell you, Lumpy's gonna be like, I don't, I don't understand. And then, of course, Itchy doesn't like that, so Itchy's like, Grr. so are we gonna have subtitles, or what's going on? No, no subtitles. So then Mala's like, oh, okay, this is going on for a while. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's going to take a ton of time. Just Wookiees screaming at each other. Wow. <laughs> so then Lumpy's going to turn on a hologram thing and check out some little acrobats. Okay. For... You know, quite some time. They're just gonna they're just gonna kinda do stuff and he's gonna he's gonna watch and clap. Okay, okay, and that's gonna happen because And that's gonna happen because Oh actually I meant that more as a question. <laughs> well, this is gonna be like a variety show, you know, so I'm gonna fill it with a variety of things that each go on for longer than you'd expect. Oh, it's a variety Ooh. show. Okay, so like a bunch of entertaining things strung together. Exactly. It's a bunch of things strung together. How come you didn't repeat the word entertaining? Yeah. Okay, so Chewbacca's family are gonna have a video chat with Luke Skywalker. Walker. Oh, he was in the movie. I love him. He sure was, sir. Wow, 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 wow. So they're gonna ask him if he knows where Chewbacca is. Oh my god. And he's gonna try to break the record for the longest time gone without blinking. Oh, that sounds very <laughs> unsettling. Oh, it will be. He's gonna ask Mala to give him a little smile. Well, it'll be interesting to have him join the movie and try to help find Chewie. Oh no, this is pretty much his only involvement. He's gonna be like, Chewie's stuck in traffic, probably. Oh, that's it. Okay. So anyway, Chewbacca's wife also has to make dinner, so she watches a cooking show. So this thing is basically incomprehensible Wookiees watching things on various oh, screens God. around their house. <laughs> now you're getting it. So Mala watches this show, and let me tell you, it's hilarious. Oh, how so? Well, I figure we could take a man and dress him as oh, a woman. Wow. Okay, so, you know, that's gonna go on for some time. Right, but what's the hilarious part? Well, I told you, there's a man dressed as a woman. Oh, that's it. Okay, I just thought there might be, you know, anything else, but that's it. Yeah, then they're also gonna watch a live stream of a man at a trading post. Weird that they have access to that through their home. <laughs> yeah, super weird. And later, he's gonna come to their house. Oh, what for? Well, he's gonna give this virtual reality thing to Chewbacca's dad, and let me tell you, it's of a sensitive nature. What are you what, what are you talking about? Well, Chewbacca's dad starts watching it, and there's a seductive lady on there. Mm. Uh-oh. She's gonna look at him all suggestive and stuff, and be like, I am your fantasy. Uh, over and <laughs> over again, and he's just freaking out in oh his my. chair. He's loving it so much. Oh, I'm extremely uncomfortable. And she's like, I'm your pleasure, and she starts to sing. Why are you doing this? Well, I figure people deserve some answers, you know? Some answers? What do you mean? Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. Star Wars was great, but the whole time I was watching, I was just like, well, okay, but what are Chewbacca's father's fantasies, though? Yeah, I feel like I might be alone in that. Oh, I'm definitely not, because I ranted about this to a lot of people, and let me tell you, they look very uncomfortable. Right, yeah. I'm assuming because they want to know as bad as I do. So we're saying, no. we're saying that this fantasy is a space lady in a kaleidoscope singing about making a moment last forever. Well, you certainly are accomplishing that last part. Thank you. <laughs> so some Imperial bad guys are gonna come over looking for rebels. Oh, now it's getting interesting. And that market guy is gonna show them a music video. Okay. I was thinking we could get Jefferson Starship to perform an entire wow. song. Oh, they have Starship in their name. That's actually perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they show them this music video as a way to distract them or no, just to show them. Oh, okay. And then the little Wookiee's gonna watch a full tutorial for a thing that doesn't exist. I suppose that may as well happen. Jesus. It will. And then he's also gonna watch a 10-minute cartoon about the rebels. He watches a cartoon about rebels while stormtroopers are in his house looking for rebels. Fair That's point. right. Well, okay then. So what's the cartoon like? It's like someone watched Star Wars once months ago oh and then tried to draw it from memory. 
well. <laughs> and then we're going to give the fans what they've all been waiting for. Is it more Wookiee fantasies? Well, no, of course not. That's already settled. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I figure we could get B. Arthur to perform B. a super Arthur. long oh, shot in the cantina B. about Arthur. how the bar is going to close cantina. down. Does that have anything to do with Chewbacca getting home for the holidays? No, sir, it doesn't. But then finally, the bad guys are going to leave Chewie's house, but they're going to leave one stormtrooper behind. Okay. And that's when Han and Chewie finally come back, but they have to deal with this bad guy. Is that going to be hard to do? Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely, Barely an, an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Han tricks him into falling through a super fragile railing down to his death. Wow, <laughs> did we establish that the railing was weak early on in the movie or something? Nope, actually, we established that it's so strong a Wookiee can walk on it. <laughs> oh, so the complete okay, opposite. Then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how does this thing end? Well, then Chewbacca reconnects with his family, and he does what I guess the Wookiee equivalent is of making out with his wife. <laughs> well, that's gross, but it would be nice to see them spend some time at home for the holidays. And then they all light up some lanterns and teleport into space. Oh, my God. Oh my God. And then they walk towards a portal of light wearing what? these robes, and they emerge at the Tree of Life. I thought I finally had a grasp on this thing. <laughs> well, to be honest, sir, I think this whole thing's going to be a lot more enjoyable for people that are, you know, not all there as they're watching it. Yeah. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, now you're getting it. Okay, 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 yeah. Yeah. Not all there, like like, like amputees. No, no, <laughs> like people that are under the influence. <laughs> right, okay, that makes a lot more sense. So anyway, then all the heroes are there, yeah. and Princess Leia sings a song. Princess Leia sings? Yeah, she basically adds some lyrics to the Star Wars theme song. So the Star Wars theme song exists within the Star Wars universe, like the characters know the theme song? I guess they do, <laughs> if you okay. say so. So what do you think? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure how people are gonna react to this. Oh, really? But on the bright side, if they don't like it, we can just pretend like it never happened, never reference it again. Yikes, okay, that sounds a little intense. Well, no, I mean, we can reference it eventually. Oh, okay, good. Like in, like in 40 years or something, <laughs> what? <laughs> Did it really? <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. Okay, well, that's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the holiday special? I have not. And I'm kind of glad I have. Can we just pretend like we have now? <laughs> fam, fam, you tell us. <laughs> if a lot of it was just Wookiees talking with no subtitles and very little subtext, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, we're we just going to sit there and watch that kid watch, like, instructional videos? <laughs> God. <laughs> On Why? <old> tech. tech. <laughs> Oh, God. Jefferson Starship, for God's sake. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's creative. I mean, you know, I don't mind a little Starship, but come on. B. Arthur should have been the uh, cantina's uh, bartender from the beginning, oh, though. in the original Star Wars? Yeah. yeah. She might have livened that place up and said, ah, put your blasters away in my bar. And yeah, the Golden Girls were there with her just around the bar. Why not? <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> She's like, Mom, we got another dead body in here. <laughs> Did you see what that cartoon looked like? It looked like uh, that it was terrible. Like a horrible rendering of heavy metal <laughs> kind of i can see that yeah <laughs> like yeah that was the cartoon was totally made in the 70s <laughs> well yeah i mean this probably would have been in the 70s so it makes sense but god that just looks so terrible even the little, little wookie apartment just looked so drab little wookie apartment kind of reminded me of ewoks of endor like the apartment that uh wilford brimley's character had in that mm -hmm. that's just what it reminded me of there <laughs> kind of looked like that for all I know, it was the same one, so... Yeah. But I gotta say that I, I didn't know Chewie had a family <laughs> like that. I didn't either. They never show up again. They got an ugly family there. Jeez. <laughs> well, his father especially. Oh, my God. <laughs> his father looked like a cross between a Wookiee and a Predator. <laughs> kind of, yeah. yeah a, it looked like his actual old man, though. Like, he's all gray. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Even has, even like a dirty old man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so watching VR stuff. Right. God almighty. Luke Skywalker, the guy was like makeup to the core in, the, in this thing. He looks super young. Like, what did they make first? Did they, did they make that first or did they make the, uh, the other, the, A New Hope first? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they made A New Hope first. They had to have. And then they made this and it's like, what? How did they make you look this young? Uh, they did something to him. I don't know what. They did too much to him. Or else he was on something. <laughs> what, they made him look waxy like that? Maybe. I mean, I don't care if he was on stuff back in the day. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever made this thing, shame on you. You kind of missed the point of Star Wars, yeah? Yeah, literally. I think they missed the uh, the, the point of the holidays, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this kills some stormtroopers. We'll have some, you know, Wookiees go through space and go through some random portal that makes absolutely zero sense, but... Right. I'd honestly probably rewatch it just to see what the Jefferson Starship <laughs> music video looks like. To see that scene, yeah. And be Arthur running the cantina, yeah. She had, like, Jesus pop up in there somewhere. Why not? <laughs> At this point, why not? It's a holiday special. Exactly. <laughs> Fam, I'm not sure what else needs to be said here. But if you think of anything, let us know. <laughs> By all means. Once again, to Dandy Chiggins, this is 
for you. Thank you for recommending that. That was a laugh riot. If you if we'd missed any more, please let us know, guys. We're only human over here. But as always, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bells, check us out on those things up there, and like and subscribe again. But until next time, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. Bye.